Testing one, two, one, two. Let me know if you can hear me. All right, let me just move this slide back and put a little bit here, Kathy. Okay, great. I'll be right back. Hello everyone again and welcome. This is Online at Trader Central. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. We do try to start promptly. We do try to uh, end uh, on time or before. But we do again want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. Today we're, uh, uh, we're here with Melissa Armo, your host and presenter today from thestockbook.com. So let me see if I can round up the, uh, the percussion section and the trumpets. Okay, the drummer. <laughs> Okay, and to the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you know that means it's time to begin. But please put your hands together and welcome our host presenter today from the stockbush.com. Please welcome Melissa Conway. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Kevin and Kathy and Online Trader Central for having me. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. Kathy can put my information in there. If you'd like to learn more about me or my company, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the trading strategy that I actually personally trade. I, I'm an active day trader. I trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'm going to talk about earning $100,000 a year trading one strategy that makes you money daily. I only trained this one strategy, actually. So I'm proof that you really only need one strategy to make money in the market. And actually, I prefer to do only one trade even a day. Really, one good pick can get you the money that you need in order to make a living. So if you'd like more information, you go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com. And you can also email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com as well. And go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Pinterest or Skype and like me at any one of these places. I put a lot of plays of the days, webinar replays, and also um, videos about the market if you'd like to go there and subscribe to my YouTube site. So let's get started, okay? We're going to talk about actually trading for income, which to me means really trading for a living. So maybe you're doing a job right now and you're working for somebody else and it's kind of like you're thinking you're like a slave to the job. I remember years ago when I worked for a bank, that's how I felt. And the funny thing was, I was a salary position so I didn't work nine to five. I worked till the job was done and I didn't get paid any overtime. It was a salary job and whether I worked 10 hours a day or eight hours a day or 60 hours a week, my salary was the same and I felt like a slave. So if this is where you're at with your career, it's, it's maybe something that you might be interested in changing. Are you in charge of your finances or do your finances control you? And the reason I ask that is because I talk to a lot of people since I've been teaching my strategy and I can tell when I speak to people how money actually controls them. And when you're in a position where you feel like you have self-control and you're the one in charge, I can't tell you how empowering that is for you to go out into the world and make the kind of money that you really want to make and the kind of money that you deserve to make. And we're talking about, you know, making a hundred grand right now as an income in this strategy. But the fact is you can make unlimited amounts of money in the market. Okay. And when you open up your eyes to think about that, it really can change your whole perspective. So are you in charge of your income? And are you the one that's creating it, okay? Or is someone else setting it for you? Like, can you make more money between now and December 31st? Or is your salary set? Like, there's nothing that you could possibly do. You can work as hard as you can. 
and you're still only going to make XYZ amount of money. What would it take for you to be in charge, not only of your time, but also your finances? And that's what we're really going to talk about today. What kind of career can offer you financial freedom and not only that, personal freedom? And I, I say that because I'm a day trader and I work from home. So I, I have a lot of uh, free time because I only trade the morning and I work from home. I don't have to worry about commuting. So I'm really the one that's in charge of my time on the day. And how much money do you need to make to have financial freedom? I think this is a good point too because, like for example, I live in New York City. Obviously, what would be required as a normal income in New York City would be very, very different from someone that might live in, you know, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Ohio. Or, or. So it's like one of those things that you kind of got to think about how much do you need that you could support yourself for an income. 100,000, 200,000, 50 grand a year, I don't know, okay? And what would it take for you to feel successful in your own life that you are in charge and no one else is, okay? What would make you feel like you're in a driver's seat in your own life? Rich is asking me how much money I make. I'm not gonna tell you exactly, but I'm making well over six figures. I've been trading my strategy for seven years, but I will tell you, Rich, that in the first three years of my trading career, I lost, okay? So I lost money for three years, like three years straight, losing, until I started making it, all right? Now I have a strategy that works, and, and I'm making money. So you got to get to the point where you turn it around. I find a lot of people struggle, okay, or losing, and then give up. But if you really, really want to make it, you can't give up. So you have two choices, okay? You have two choices. You can decide you want to be the one in the driver's seat and you can make it happen. Now, how can you do that? Well, you could be like me. You could just go keep trading and figuring it out and going back and looking at your trades and figuring it out and losing and losing and losing and losing and losing and losing until you figure it out. Ad infinitum until you figure it out yourself, something that works in the market. Or you could go and learn from someone like me who's already doing it and who's already successful and then you would take my class and you would learn from me how to do what I know how to do, okay? And take my trades. So those are your options. I was talking to a, a client actually who did the class last month, Alex, earlier today. And you know, he said the problem is time. You know, he decided to take my class because he just didn't have the time to trade the market and figure it out himself. And so if you don't have three years of your life to spend or the money it would take for years of your life to figure something out, it's, it's time and money, both together, that you would need to figure it out yourself. And I find a lot of people don't have that kind of accommodations that they can give to the market. At the time that I was doing it, and even now I'm a single woman, so I was able to do it. If I had had children or a husband, I, I'm certain that I wouldn't have had the three years to devote my life financially or time-wise to figuring out what I know. But this was my destiny to actually trade and be successful doing it. So I did it, okay? But you've got to make the decision however much money it is that you want to make in the market. Is 100000 going to be sufficient for you to quit your day job? I don't know. Again, we were talking earlier, where do you live? What are your costs? But the nice thing about my strategy, which we'll talk about in a little bit, is that it sets up in the morning. So even if you have another job, to go to or a business or something else to do. This could be extra income. Like say you like your job and you don't wanna quit your job. You could keep your job and still trade and just make more. And as I was saying earlier, I talked to a client earlier today, he's in Israel. So the language of trading is really international. It's international. He was concerned when taking the class that he was gonna have a barrier, an English barrier, a language barrier, because English wasn't his native language and he, and he understood the entire class. So I will say that, you know, my class is based on a lot of charts, which we're going to look at and talk about today. But the market, okay, market is about money and price action. And I read charts and my system is based on technical analysis, not specific indicators or any kind of algorithms, but real price action that I read and decide what to do in the market. And really the language of trading is international. So you could be anywhere in the world and trade the U.S. stock market. All you need is access to a computer the internet and to know what to do and then you have uh, set up your own brokerage account with a broker to be able to trade 
So training the stock market is a job that can offer an income of $100,000 a year or more. And that's the point earlier I was trying to make. You set your goals now, what you want to make right now, say for the next six months to the end of this year. Then you can set goals for 2016 and so on and so forth. Every year you could increase your goals for what you want to make. The nice thing is that trading, the strategy we're going to talk about today, is really a full-time income but not a full-time job. It's a part-time job in the sense that the time allocation that you have to make in your daily routine is not that much. And you can do it from anywhere in the world. So what kind of strategy offers the potential to make $100,000 a year or more? Income, it's a strategy that I developed and I titled it Golden Gaps. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the Golden Gap strategy is limited work hours. When do I trade this strategy? Between 9.30 and 10, 10 10.15 in the morning. That's it, all right? I have a live trading room that I close out every day by no later than 11 a.m. Eastern time. But I'm usually out of my trades between 10, 10, 15, 10, 30-ish, okay? Also, as I was saying earlier, you can work from home. This is very nice because you can be anywhere in the world and do it, and you don't have to worry about commuting or coming to a certain location, like coming to a trading desk, and you don't have to be in New York. Even though I live in New York, you don't have to be here to learn to trade from me or trade with me in the room. And also, it allows more time for yourself to do things in the afternoon because I'm done in the morning and I have the afternoon to myself. And again, depending on what time zone you're in, if you're on Pacific time and you're in the U.S., it's very early in the morning. And by the time you're done, I mean, you have the, literally the whole day to yourself because 10 a.m. Eastern time is right now, you know, 7, 7 uh, Pacific. Well, actually, no, it's, it's two-hour time zone difference. No, it's three hours. We're three hours of California right now so it depends if you're central or pacific time zone you could still almost have the whole day to yourself you know go golfing go to the pool it's the summer right now it's gorgeous days to have the rest of the afternoon to yourself and there's no cap on the money that you can make okay that was one of the reasons that i ultimately decided i wanted to learn this thing because when i was uh working before i was doing mortgages and i had a commission sales job so my income actually fluctuated, meaning I could have enormous months some months if I had a lot of loans going on. And I love that. I mean, really the idea of having an unlimited income was one of the reasons I love doing mortgages. But then everything went topsy-turvy in that industry. But I wanted to find a career that didn't have a fixed salary because I'm a hard worker and I wanted to do something that had unlimited income potential. And the great thing about the market is the better that you get the more that you trade, the longer that you trade, the more money that you can make. It's all about the size that you take and how much you risk. Okay? So golden gaps are lucrative because gaps offer momentum and volatility on the trading day. And as a trader, you make money on volatility. For example, if a stock moves a dollar and you have a thousand shares, you make a thousand dollars. If it moves two dollars and you have two thousand shares, then you'll make four dollars, and so on and so forth. It's the idea that you make more dependent on the size okay so it's really just the focus 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 on what you're doing how many shares you're taking and the volatility the momentum that you're getting in it and one of the main points about my strategy is again you're done in the morning okay and you don't over trade many people give money back to the market in the afternoon so you have one job as a trader you go in okay and you make the money and you stop, all right? So as I was saying, the strategy that I trade is called golden gaps. Now, what is a gap? For those of you that don't know, a gap is when a stock closes at one price today and opens at another price the next trading day. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next, okay? Gaps work because they are a price event in the life of a stock. And they are also demonstrate, they also demonstrate what the volatility that's going to happen in the stock, okay? So, for example, if a stock closes at one price, okay, we're going to look at this chart here in NLY. If it closes here at $9 and say 75 cents, this is a daily chart, okay? The stock is closing here on this day at 4 o'clock Eastern time. When you get up in the morning the next day at 9.30, you'll see this before 9.30, you'll see that the stock is down here around $9.45 or thereabouts, okay? So the stock gap down. So a gap is just a differentiation from the close to the open, okay?
okay? It could be big, it could be small, it doesn't matter. It's a difference in price. So what I look at in my strategy before the open is, I try to determine if NLY, that's the stock here, would be a good short or a good long, okay? So you know whether to short the stock or buy the stock. Again, you can only make money going long a stock if the price goes up, or if the price goes down, you have to be shorted if you wanna be profitable, okay? Gaps are very useful because you can use them for day trading, which is what I personally do. This is Michael Coors. I day traded this back in here. This was back in May, okay? But I also have a swing trade letter, and I called Michael Coors as a swing trade. It, it worked, okay? This was a really, really nice, easy-peasy swing trade that just kind of fell and fell off the planet and is ready to go on to the first target. So if you want a day trade using my system, you can, like on this day here that you'd short the stock using the gaps, or you can do swing trades. Same concept, you're just holding the swing trade for overnight. So why trade gaps and why do they work so well and pay so well? Again, this is a strategy that I trade, all right? But I, I like to day trade, so I'm flat every day by four o'clock. Gaps are created with large institutional money. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's hedge funds, banks, okay? Institutions that make the gap. For example, like in the Michael Kors, they sold out into the gap from the close of price of around $60-some or whatever Michael Kors closed the night before, and it opened the next day around 49 bucks or wherever it was. Okay, So an ins institutions made the gap in Michael Kors, and then it continued to sell off on the day. That is not always the case. Sometimes they get bought, but in the case of this, it was a short. And how did I know that this was a short? Because I have a method that I use to determine before the open that I would be able to take this as a short on the day, okay? I have a rating system that I use that helps me pick the correct direction to play the gap and then confirm that the large money, which is the institutional money, will flow with it, meaning that in the case of Michael Kors, for example, it would keep selling off all day long, like they would sell it into the gap and it would keep selling into the gap, or what I would call continuation, okay? So I have a formula to rate and qualify the gap that gives me the confirmation and the conviction that the large institutional money is on my side and then I play it. In the case, like I said, of course, it's a short. Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency in the stock, which is like panic, okay? And therefore an action that is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power, okay? You're trading on the side of power. What is the power? The power is the money. Where's the money coming from? The money is coming from the institutions because they're the ones that move the market. They're the ones that pick the market up and they're the ones that drop the market. They're the ones that move the market with big amounts of money, okay? Now, the system that I use is a rating system. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but this in the morning is what I get up and look at. This is just in, in here as a scanner. It's just a clipping. So I get up in the morning like at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. or whatever time I get up and I go through and scan in here. This would show me all the stocks that are gapping, okay? So you have all of these you can go through and pick. And every, anyone would have anything like this in their trading platform. It usually comes free with your trading platform. So I can go through and I can rate everything in here if I want to, okay? Now, how long will it take you to learn my system? Again, I'm gonna talk about it in a, in a moment here. You can learn it in a weekend. My class is two days. It's not something that has to take you forever to learn. It's not like so complex and complicated that you it's gonna take you weeks or months or years to get it. Again, as I was just saying earlier, I have people that are not native to the English language that have taken the class in two days and learned it. So it is something that you learn in the two-day course that I teach, how to find what stock to trade and how to trade it and what the targets are and you can start trading immediately right after the class live, okay? So it's a very profitable system because of the volatility as I was talking about. Now, getting back to is making $100,000 a year realistic? Yes, it is, okay? It is about chunking it out. I think a lot of people that trade on a regular basis, and for those of you that are in here that are active traders, day traders or swing traders, don't understand that the concept in making even 100 grand a year is chunking it out. It's about keeping losses to a minimum. You don't lose that much, okay? So you're not giving money back to the market that you made. 
and you don't overtrain because that eats up costs and commissions that go to the broker. All you need is one pick a day or maybe two. And again, like I was saying, I prefer one. And you make the money quickly in the morning and you stop once your goal is reached. It's about picking the quality stocks to trade each day that have momentum. And that is how you do it. You chunk it out. 1,000, 500, 2,000, 300, 500. That's how you do it. Okay. And you make your goal and you stop. Now, I put in here a testimonial before I go over the trades because this is something I'm going to talk about in the room this week. Jaguar Paw has been training with me actively now for not, not, even, not even a year, six months only, okay? And he has made 50% of his account, okay? That's amazing. He has made 50% of his account. So I don't care how much money you have, whatever you have, if you could double your money in a certain period of time, trading my strategy then why wouldn't you want to do it okay everybody that i talk to wants to make millions and millions of dollars this that and the other thing you know what if you can make 50 grand in six months why wouldn't you do it if you could make 10 grand in three months why wouldn't you do it i mean it's like money is money people okay and i couldn't be more prouder of this student because he he has done everything i told him to do I mean, he listens to everything I tell him to do, and he's doing very well, all right? So if you come and you learn from me, and you want to be mentored by me, you listen to everything I say and do everything I tell you to do, all right? And, and you'll make it. And that's really what it comes down to. It's just about doing it and learning, okay? And you've got to learn something that is practical and effective. And that was a great example there of effectiveness because that student you know, is, is just a regular person, okay? Just a regular guy, and he is having an amazing year, all right? So now let's get really into it. I told you earlier what a gap is. Now let's talk about what a golden gap is, what I turn my system, and how actually to, do you use it. It is a rating system. As I was saying earlier, I have to find the Michael Kors. I have to find the LL, NLY. I have to find what stock symbol to train. Otherwise, I don't get a momentum move. I have to get volatility in order to make money, okay? And any trader does. So my system, really, the crux of the system is a 26-point rating system. It's a list. It's a checklist. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap, which gap to trade each morning. And that's it. Now, I prefer the short side, although I do teach bullish gaps as well. But it is a 26-point system, and that seems like a lot of things to look at. But the fact is, it's not that much when you think about it of the time that you have in the morning. You select a watch list and you rate them. But in the sense as far as focus and criteria that you'd be looking to pick something like Michael Kors, for example, to get something that would move that big on the day, it is a lot of exactness in trying to hone it down to finding that one thing that's going to have an amazing move. You know, very early on when I started training, I realized that it was about the fact that I only needed one trade. It was like when I got the right thing in the day, I had huge mornings. And when I didn't, I started the day down. It was like the difference between night and day. It's like, and, and I can't, I don't even know how I can describe this. And it's, it's this way even now to today. Like the difference between having an amazing day where you make thousands of dollars and losing is like one smidgen. But that extra smidgen counts, okay? So even though 26 things sounds like an awful lot of things to look at, I, that's what I need in order to get me over the edge, to get me over to that point that I'm above and beyond the person that's behind me who's losing so that I win. So any amount of specification or detail or focus that you can have makes a huge, huge difference. I mean, this is what everybody talks about when they, they call it and they say an edge, okay, my edge is my 26 point rating system. Yes, it's a lot of things to look at, but that gives me the one extra thing. It's the difference between having a huge day or not getting anything at all. And so that's, that's the key, okay? Because you really do need everything on your side to be able to get something so fast, so huge, so beautiful every day. Now, why does it work? The Golden Gap system works because it looks at a large time frame, which is a daily chart, which we're gonna look at in a minute, of a stock 
to analyze a directional bias, which is whether long or short. Again, I prefer the shorts. The quality and high success rate for choosing the right stock to trade each day and getting the directional bias correct comes from the 26-point rating system. Many traders lose money in the market because they're going long a stock that's dropping or they're shorting a stock that's rallying. Okay? You, it's just like trading 101, you have to get the direction right. I mean, that's number one. All right? So I use the checklist to help me determine which stock is going to go as a long or a short and also if it's going to have a big move. So that extra thing to tell the volatility helps me as well as knowing which direction to play it. Because again, if I have 100 stocks in the market I'm looking at in the morning that are gapping, of that 100 that are gapping, okay, there might be two or three that have big, big moves. Maybe the one some days there's only one, okay? So it's, again, the difference is night and day between finding something where you have an amazing day and finding something where you don't have anything at all or you lose. So it is about being that focus and that specific. The philosophy behind the 26 points is that the rating system gives you a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Big moves on the day, okay? Early confirmation of the bias in the move, which is between 9.30 and 10. Again, I'm getting in my trades early. And precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. Now, what I mean by risk to reward, we'll look at this in some of the trades. For every dollar that I risk in the market, I'm looking to make two to three to four. Okay, on the high end, some days you get trades that can go 10. That would be going something to what I would call the dream target. Okay, but you don't want to risk a dollar to make 50 cents. That's not a good risk to reward trade. So let's look at some trades here just to show you how you can use the system to actually make money. And again, I'm looking here at day trades. Now this was the last week of June, okay? The stock was mu, that's the ticker symbol. Mu actually had earnings. Sometimes stocks gap for many, many reasons. In the case of mu though, it was an earnings gap. The stock closed up here the night before around $24 in some cents and gapped down here at around $20 in some cents. So the stock gapped down. I forget if mu was at night or in the morning when it gapped. Stocks can gap both at night and in the morning. But anyways, it gapped, okay? So then you would rate the gap before the market opens using my 26 point rating system. And that would tell you, oh, this is a good one to short or this is a good one if you wanna go long it, okay? Now, when I rated the gap in mu, it was a good short, okay? And it was a short. And so you could have shorted mu in the day and made money and actually continued quite frankly all day. And you can see here, you could have actually done an overnight in mu too. So mu had a two day move down. Again, going back to the idea that you can use the system for overnight trades or even options. Again, you're looking for the stock pick that's going to have the momentum move and to get the direction right. And how do you know all of that from the rating system? So my golden gap 26 point rating system tells me mu is good. Were there other stocks that were gapping this day? Yes. Did I play anything else? No. Mu is the one. And all you need is one trade like this to make money. So here is a one minute chart, okay? That was the daily chart. So you find the gap on the daily and you decide you're doing it on the daily and you rate it on the daily. But mu, as a day trader, I wanna actually take my entry on a one minute chart. So this is a smaller time frame now. This is a one minute chart of mu, okay? It's 9.30 here, this is 9.30, 9.31, 9.32. 9 this is really very small, tiny bars here, but I want you to see the whole move of it. What I like to do, what I usually do, again, is play between 9.30 and 10. So I get in a stock, it drops, and I get out, okay? But you could have actually done mu, as I was saying earlier, longer. Here, do you see that it dropped and went even past 11 a.m. Eastern time? This is 10.50 over here. But the morning trade on mu is this. Price of the entry was 20.30. You short it. Stop was over 20.50. I used hard stops when I trade. Why? Because I have a fixed risk. Going back to what we were discussing earlier, how do you make it? You chunk it out. Part of chunking it out in the market is also defining your risk so that you risk same or equal to in every trade. How am I able to do that? By using stops, okay? So that if mu wouldn't work, I wouldn't have an unlimited amount of risk. I have a fixed risk. In the case of this, 5,000 shares of mu is $1,000 risk. Now this is, a, this is an, an advanced risk. 
you can take less than that. You could take a thousand shares. Okay. If you took a thousand shares of mu, you'd be risking two hundred dollars. If you had taken a thousand shares of mu and risked two hundred dollars, you would have made five hundred bucks. That's still a nice, nice trade. If you did this trade here that I did though and took five thousand shares of mu, again this is an advanced risk. You've been trading for a while. Profit was twenty five hundred. Risk to reward is two point five. What does that mean? It means for every dollar that I risked a mu, I made $2.50, and I made it in 13 minutes. In 13 minutes. In 13 minutes. Okay? Now, I am going to go over the trade that you could have been in longer in mu. I didn't do this one. This is the one that I did. Okay? You could have held it longer. It went. It went to the target and past the target and beyond. But I made this money in 13 minutes. And this is the reason that I like to day trade. And this is the reason that I like the strategy that I trade. And you got to be honest with me, this is the reason that I probably always do this strategy and nothing else. And somebody said to me the other day, like, why don't you do this or that and the other thing? And I'm like, why? Why? There is nothing else that I'm ever going to do in the market. Ever, ever, nothing that I'm going to make this much money this quickly in the market. And how am I able to do it? day after day after day after day because I knew exactly what to go after. I'm like a hunter going into the, I'm like a lion going into the night to catch my prey and get my money. And the bottom line is I am doing it and I'm in and I'm grabbing that money and I'm out and guess what? Then there's no more risk for me. Then that's it. Not only can I take the money out of my account then immediately if I want to, okay? But I'm no longer at risk, okay? So, like, let's just say, now, again, you was a short. Oh, this would be better if I had an example of a long here. But, okay. Like, let's just say last, last week the market fell one of the days. I don't remember what the day was. I didn't trade last week. It was a holiday. All right. But let's just say the market, instead of falling like a crazy person the one day last week, rallied like a crazy person one day. Okay. I wouldn't have to worry about that in my mu. If I was short mu and the market was rallying like a crazy person, power trending up, okay, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Why? Because I'm in and I'm out so quick. So do you see what I mean? A lot of times people get caught. If they don't get the direction of the market right, they're screwed, okay? I don't ever have to worry about that. Number one, I'm getting the gap or in the correct direction of bias. Number two, I'm getting the entry exact and perfect. Number three, I'm sizing myself well. Number four, I know the targets. And number five, I'm up the money and I see where I'm going with it. I have the reversal signs and the exit signs, which I know. I'm teaching the class and I'm looking for the targets and I'm out. Okay? So I'm no longer at risk. If Mu rallies against me, if the market goes crazy in some Fed announcement, if Greece falls off the planet, okay, nothing's going to affect me with the Mu because I'm out. And I have my money and I can go to the gym. Okay. The this idea of trading, 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 and I was saying over trading earlier, it's really also just the fact that people that train feel like the more that they trade, the more that they will make. But that's not true. It's actually the opposite. It's about quality, honed in specification rather than the longer term. It's like People that are investors, if you buy a stock and you're investing it, you say, I'm going to get in this stock, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to hold it until I retire, you know, you can say 35 years from now, 40 years from now. That's not trading, okay? That's not what I do. That's not what traders do. That's like a long-term investor person. And you're, you are at risk. You're at risk, okay? You're at risk the longer that you're in something. I am actually not as much at risk because I'm in and out so quickly and I have my risk to find in the trade, even when I'm in it live in that 13 minutes. I also know exactly where I'm going with it. I'm paying attention. I'm like a sniper going out into the brusque, okay? And I'm taking the money. I'm just grabbing it. And that's something that traders have a difficulty doing. But that's really what you can do. And you can do it every day because that's all that you need. And then all of a sudden, you're making all this money. Because just getting back to what I was saying, I mean, $100,000 a year, you make $2,500 a week, that's hundred grand a year. All right? So you could do one trade a week. You don't even have to trade five days a week. But obviously, if you do, you'll make more than hundred grand a year with this kind of sizing. Now... Again, I did not stay immune to the target. There were some people in the room that did hold Mew all the way down. And actually, it went to 1950. The low of the day was 1944. 
but 1950 was one of the dream targets in the MU. And if you had taken a $1,000 risk or 5,000 shares of MU in the exact same entry that I did, except for you would have held it down in here, and it never went against you. I mean, you never would have been down in the trade. So you could have held it if you had the patience and wanted to wait past 11. It actually, you could have made $4,000. Okay. Again, I did the first one because I'd like to be out quickly. You would have had to be in this for longer. You could monitor yourself and your stop. You could lower your stop. I don't trade like that though. Okay. So going back, I take my trade. Boop, and I'm out. But you could have done this. It never went back to your original entry price. And you could have actually put it with a stop at break even. But I don't trade like that. But I'm just giving you ideas if you want to try to hold it longer. But again, the longer you're in something, the more that you're at risk as far as what the market's going to do or the trade reversing. Okay. Any questions at all about Mew? But the crux of the Mew train here that I'm showing here in the one minute chart goes back to the gap. I would have never done Mew or known what to do with Mew or even known where to take Mew or get out of Mew or anything with the Mew if I didn't know that Mew was a short based on my 26 point rating system. Do you understand? So that's how I know. It's that one strategy that I'm doing in Golden Gaps that makes me know that Mew is the good one. Because there's a million things that gap every day. I mean, I showed you that scanner earlier where you can see how many things are gapping on any given day. Lots. But you only need one. And actually, as I was saying, if you took a $200 risk in this, you would have made 500 bucks here and $500 a day is still $2,500 a week. And $2,500 a week is still 100 grand a year. All right. But this is an increased risk amount. Now, let's talk about this. Do they ever not work? I always get these questions in webinars. I didn't get this tonight. Everyone says, oh, do they, do they ever, do they always work? That's unrealistic. There are times when some trades do not work. That's why you have a stop in. I call it a hard stop. It's a limit order, but it's a hard stop to me. And there are times when some trades do not work. Now, I did not do this, but I, did, I had off last week, okay? But I saw this. If I had done this, which I did not, okay? I did not run the room last week. I looked at things in the morning on my own. I saw this. But actually, if you had watched it, per my system, you wouldn't have even done it. Now, it didn't work as a short. Now, why wouldn't you have done it? This is the one minute chart, okay? So this is the daily, this is pay X. Here's the gap. I know it's harder to see than the other one, but the stock actually gapped down. So the stock closed here and gapped down here, you would have rated this gap. You would have rated this gap to actually short. So you would have had to go through the process here. But per my system, per my system, per my rating system, and per the rules, the stock opened, did a huge, massive bar thing here, all the way down, dropped off the planet, like almost $2 this bar is here. This is happening in one minute, because remember, this is a one minute chart. Then it rallied, and then it did this. This was no play, what I call no play. You wouldn't have ever taken a trade in this. So per my system, you wouldn't have made money in PayX and you wouldn't have lost money in PayX. So do they ever not work? Yes, there's some times where they don't work. But in the case of PayX, it didn't work, but you knew not to take the trade to do anything with it because of the gap and the way it's set up. And I teach this in the class, okay? Everyone understand? And then it actually completely flipped. I mean, it flipped big time. And that's why you have this huge candlestick here. So this is where learning, okay, counts. And it saves you money from bad trades that won't work because you don't take any trades in PayX. You see the gap, you rate the gap. Even if you decided you wanted to watch the gap, it didn't set up to short it and it didn't set up to buy it. So you didn't, you didn't make any money in it, but you didn't lose any money in it. Again, going back to the concept of how do you make this kind of money, you chunk it out. If you have wonderful, fabulous, beautiful trading days, when you make money, that's all well and good. But if the days that you are down, that you lose, they're enormous, too big, or you have too many of them, it doesn't matter if you have fantastic days. You have to keep the losses confined, small, not that many, not that often, not that big. Okay, this is part of the chunking it out thing. And so not only do I teach people actually how to take good trades, I teach people things that are called failures. 
and, and you see it in the live price action that it's a failure and you see it from the gap rating that's a failure. So I have a 26 point system. If the gap rates 20 points or more, I look to take it in the direction of the gap. If the gap rates less than that, I'm not trading it per the system. So for example, if a gap would rate 11 points, let's just say, say you would get up in the morning and see whatever, AA or something, has earnings out Wednesday night. If you have a gap down and you rated it and it rated 11 points, you wouldn't short it. You wouldn't trade it. You wouldn't do it. Because per my system, it would tell you no play. Don't do anything. Don't short that. Okay. The class I teach, Rick, cost $34.99. And if you'd like more information on that, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you have to leave soon. And Kathy can also put my information in the room as well. It is a two-day class for 16 hours where you learn how to rate the gaps and also how to take the entries in the trade and the targets. Now let's look at APOL. This was last week. This was the, actually, this is the only thing I did last week because this was a good one. Uh, this gapped down, okay? The night before it was up here around 15 something, it gapped down here to like 13 something. This was on June 30th. So you get up in the morning and you rate the gap, okay? You're rating it to see if it rates 20 points or more so you could see if you could short it, all right? I did that and it was good and it met the criteria. Again, the focus, focus, focus of being specific to know what to do. Because last week, it was a holiday week and there might have been nothing to do, but there was some things to do. Anyway, so APO was a short. Now, the stock gap down here again, we're in the one minute chart, you're looking to take the entry. Here's the entry in the APOL. And again, what do I like to do? I like to take the trade and I like to be out very quickly. And here's the move. And actually, this is one of those ones that went to the target. So you didn't even have to think. Sometimes you get the move very, very quickly into the immediate target. And sometimes you get a move like in the MU where it goes to an area that you have that's not quite the target, but you're up a, a good amount of money in the time of the day. You have an exit sign. But sometimes you get lucky. And you have the move. And it goes right to the target in the time period. And in the case of APUL, it did. And it was like easy peasy to know where to take it out exactly. Price of the entry, the entry that I actually had in this, because I did take a good amount of size in this, I got filled at 1948 and change. Stop was over 1980. So this is 32 cents. Again, I have to size myself correctly because it's based on the stop. Okay. 5,000 shares of this is a risk of $1,600 with the stop at 1980. And here was my exit. I took it out as quick as I saw it go. It hit 13 though. Total profit was 1939. Again, time and trade 11 minutes. Let's go back and look at it. I'm in it here. I actually got out of it here. It was so close to the target. No, I got out of it here. I'm sorry. This was the bar I got out of it. But I could have stayed in it like a, like a couple minutes longer. I got out of this too, I think. But that's it. Boop. And so this is before 10. And again, you could sometimes trade these later. Sometimes you can take a second trade. Sometimes you can trade them again in the morning for a second trade. But I like to do the first trade. And if your goal is in, if your monetary goal is in, if you made the money, why would you take another trade? So I plop this in. This is a copy of my P&L for the day. So I was not going to take another trade that day. It was like idiotic to even think of taking another trade. So in, in an ideal world, in an ideal Melissa Armo world, every trade I take, I'm in and out in less than 30 minutes and make whatever I make, $1,000, $2,000, $4,000, whatever I make, okay? It's about going in and hitting it like a sniper or like a lion going out into the brush. And then I'm no longer at risk. I've got the money that I need for the day and I'm done. But you can't do this unless you know where to take the trade or how to take the trade or how to trade in a one-minute chart and to even know to do APOL and to know what direction to do it, long or short, okay? Because if you try to buy APOL, which, by the way, traders did, you lost money on the day. It was not a long, it was a short, okay? And you can see the way it closed on the day. 
any questions at all about the trades in mu or APOL or any questions about gaps really or does anyone have any questions at all about what I'm talking about here I know some of you are active traders I know some of you may not have ever traded at all if you've never traded at all the idea of day trading and being able to make $1,900 in 10 minutes might may seem astounding but I do this okay it's it's one of those things where it's a different type of career it's just a very very different type of career than a regular job but it is something that you can do if you learn how to do it and I and that's why I have the testimonial from Jaguar Paul because he's had an, a, a, just an amazing year all right he's doing everything I taught him well let's go back to that rich is asking me now let's go back how much do you actually need you have to actually set up an account with a broker there are different types of brokers there are retail brokers and there are also proprietary trading brokers okay depending on the type of brokerage account you have will depend on the actual amount of money that you need in the account to be able to take a trade like the APL. so let's just say this one here so let's just say let's use for 1948 1948 here somebody do the calculation times 5,000 equals what? Somebody figure it out really quick in a calculator or you're going to make me do it. Whatever that amount is, you divide it by that for your buying power. Rich is asking me how much, you know, how much money do you need? He's saying you need lots of money. You actually don't, but <coughs> this is how much buying power you need. Oh, I don't know why that just popped up there. Hold on. No one figured it out, so I just did there you go you would need ninety seven thousand four hundred dollars in buying power do you need ninety seven thousand four hundred dollars in cash no no you don't you need it in buying power or what is called leverage that you get from the broker proprietary day trading places give you more leverage than a retail broker if you're at a retail place you would need to have a minimum of twenty five thousand cash to take that trade if you are at a proprietary day trading place you would you could you could take that trade with five thousand dollars cash or ten thousand dollars cash at some they may not give you 20 to 1. some will give you 20 to 1 some will give you 10 to 1. either way you don't need a hundred grand does this make sense and if you don't understand it then ask me i don't know experience you have rich but you don't need ninety seven thousand four hundred dollars to take that trade if you did the only people that would be able to trade would be people that don't have that much money okay I mean, the only people that would be able to trade are people that have a lot of money, and people that don't have that much money wouldn't be able to trade, but that's not true. There are people in my training room that have accounts with $2,000 in it, and they're, and they're making money. So, obviously, the more money that you have, the more you can risk. If you have $2,000 in your account, though, you shouldn't be risking $1,600, even if you have 100000 in buying power in APOL. You have to look at your risk per trade based on your cash balance okay but the buying power has to do with how much the broker is giving you at retail accounts it's four to one for day trading and a proprietary day trading account is anywhere from 10 to 20 depending on where you trade does everyone understand this because if you don't ask me although it's something that really you could talk to your broker about but this is the beauty about uh, you know day trading actively is that you don't need ninety seven thousand four hundred dollars because if you did like I was saying only very wealthy people could trade the market but I will tell you that the more money you have the more that you can make okay well if you have an active day trading account you can actively trade every day which 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 I do so another profitable and practical use for the golden gap is swing and core trades as I pointed out earlier Michael Kors was a nice swing trade so it is very useful my strategy because you can do it on multiple time frames if you want to do overnights and day trade and do options you can use the same strategy which is a rating system for all of them and the targets okay would just be bigger targets if you're looking to do overnights uh, let me just answer some other questions here what happens if your broker cannot borrow the borrow the stock well first of all G gamma you must trade at a 
you must have an account at a broker that has short access. I mean, that is like number one, boom, that's it. Like you must, if you're gonna be an active trader, they have to be able to get you in, you have to have good short access, you gotta have it all. I know those places. If you want a referral, email me, I'll send you them. You, do, you cannot trade at a place that can't get you shorts, that's insanity. You must trade at a broker that has shorts. And there are so many out there, but I know the good ones, okay? Uh, can you give another example of one of the 26 point checklists, please? I haven't given any examples of the 26 point checklist at all. I teach that in the class at 16 hours. The 20 point rule is what I'm saying is that there's a 20 point minimum, meaning 26 is the maximum points you can get. 20 is the minimum that you have to have or I'm not touching it, okay? That's not the point itself. That's the criteria where I'm doing it or I'm not even touching it, Craig. So that has nothing to do with the actual reason or point or that's not the point itself. That's the criteria. My criteria is if the gap rates 20 or more, I can do it. If it doesn't, I'm not doing it. The maximum points I can, anything you get is 26. The minimum criteria at the very least is 20. Okay. Martin, if you would like that, email me directly. Okay. So there are very few strategies, if any, that you can use to trade in multiple time frames. This is actually something that's amazing to me. I did not create my system to do anything other than day trade. But I will tell you that one of the things that's so great about my system is if you learn it, you can use it in so many different ways for so many other different ways to train. And I didn't, I didn't make it that way. But guess what? That's how good it is at honing in on the pit, okay? Like the Michael Kors here. You could have done so many different things with this to make money, it's not even funny, all right? But the swing trade was entry when I called it 48, risk was $3, you could have risked 600 bucks and you would have made 1200 already. It's still going, this is still in play. This is bigger targets in it, but I'm just saying as of now, you would have made this and you would have never been down in the trade. And, and this is a nice trade. You would have been up and it just fell off the planet. This just fell off the planet. Look at it, okay? Swing trades don't normally set up like that. I've called some really nice swing trades this year. So the Golden Gap strategy can help you get to your goal. All you have to do is chunk it out, chunk it out, chunk it out. It, it's about $8,500 a month you're making if you want to make 100 grand a year. And I'm not saying you have to risk $1,000 a trade. You really have to risk probably about 500 Three, four, five hundred, okay, on average. So that is still an intermediate risk, all right? Once you get up to risking way more than that, obviously you're making more than a hundred grand a year. But if the goal is to make a hundred grand a year, it's realistic if you chunk it out. If you think of it, if you break it down to get real, it's like $2,100 a week. $2,100 a week? I was talking to somebody, this was like a month ago or longer. I'm like, $1,500 a week is, was all he wanted to make. That's six grand a month. That would pay his bills. It was, it's like 72 grand a year. $1,500 a week is like nothing in the market. It comes out to be like 300 bucks a day. And $1,500 you can make in one trade and not even work the rest of the week. And some people are not only not making $1,500 a week, they're losing. And $2,100 a week is realistic. And $2,100 a week makes 100 grand a year. That's it. And you have five days to do it. And you can do it in one trade. Okay? One trade could do it. It's, it's about the focus. It's about the right pick. You've got to have the right system that gives you the right pick. If you can, you can do it. And it's not that hard. It's really about getting serious about your trading goals and getting serious about the money you want to make in the market. You can't be a looky-loo. I know that people come to these webinars and they want to come and come and come and come and come and keep looking. You're never going to learn it until you take the class and actually do it and get good and that means getting serious about it. You either want to make the money in the market or you don't or you want to be a looky-loo. You can be a looky-loo forever, but what's the point? Okay, I was very serious about my training, very serious about making money and I did it. Okay, if you want to be serious, you can do it and it is 100% achievable to do it. It's really about the daily pick. It's just, it's, it's so important if you are a day trader to have these nice big days. It's important to not have big losing days. It's important to have big gains. It's important to make money and keep your risk defined. 
okay? Big profit days are important because they make a huge difference in your P&L. Whether it's $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, they can really help your whole month. And not only that, it helps your self-confidence. It helps get you excited. It helps you be passionate about trading. What is the reason that I like to teach? What is the reason I trade still, even after seven years? Why do I keep doing this? Why do I get so excited? Why do I jump up and down and clap in the morning still after seven years of trading? Because there is nothing like the thrill of making $1,900 in 11 minutes. There's nothing that is never, I'm never going to not be thrilled about that. 10 years from now, if I make $25,000 in 11 minutes, I'll scream and jump up and down and clap in the trading room when I trade. I'm as excited then as I am today. The idea of making several thousand dollars working for milliseconds. I mean, it's like, it's, I'm, I'm just made, basically my hourly, it's like I made $121 a minute. Like, where can you do that? There is no other place in the planet that you could do that. No, there's nowhere. Nowhere you could do that. I will never not be as excited about trading the market because of the amount of money that I can make as quick as I could make it. And if I could make it in one minute, I would. And maybe someday I'll figure that out. But right now, I mean, the idea to make it in 10, 15 minutes is exciting, okay? And when you see that kind of profit, it makes you passionate about learning and passionate about trading and passionate about getting up out of bed in the morning and learning this stuff and doing it and doing it well instead of being a looky-loo. Okay, you can looky-loo all you want, but you don't have the cash. You gotta train and you gotta learn it and you gotta do it to make the money, okay? So think about where you see yourself in a year. You've gotta get to the point where you really open up your eyes to see the possibility for your own life to do it because we do not have the same job security that we did in the past. We, we just don't. And I learned that tough lesson with the whole thing that was happening in the mortgage industry. You've got to fend for yourself. Even if you have a job right now and everything's going great, you don't even know if you have the same job security. Something could happen six months from now, a year from now. Take care of yourself. Always be looking forward. Always be looking out ahead. Always be looking out where you want to be next. Or if you're not where you want to be now, how are you going to get there? You have to have a plan of action to do it. What is your plan of action? You have to start somewhere. If you have $2,000 in a trading account, open it up, learn, take the class, do it, trade. Whatever you've got. The longer it takes for you to do it, the longer it's going to take for you to get off the ground and maximize your money. Whatever you make, July, August, September, it's money. It's more money than you would have prior to trading. So you've got to do it. And taking my class and learning it is the first step. And then you learn how to do it and you take my instruction, okay? Um, Martin is saying, is there a payment plan option for the learning course? No, and the reason is because you learn everything in the two days in the class to actually train. But you can go into PayPal and PayPal has a six month credit plan. You can pay me through PayPal. And if you apply for the six month credit plan through PayPal, you pay for the class directly to me in whole and then you pay PayPal over six months. And I think it's no interest. You'd have to go to PayPal and apply. That I accept, okay? You can email me, Martin, if you want that information. So my class teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. It teaches you how to enter the trades and exit the trades. It teaches you the targets, price analysis, technical analysis, and really a very efficient way to trade as I just showed you in the trades that I took, okay? It is all about the checklist though. So empower yourself today to trade the market and get serious about success. Success is sexy, it's attractive, it is appealing to people. You'll be amazed if you start to make more money in your life and do well as a trader, all the opportunities and things that are gonna come your way. Lots and lots and lots of opportunities, okay? The Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take the class. It is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, July 11th and 12th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $34.99. And if you're interested, you have to email me for sign-up information at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Now, I also teach a trends course. This is a class on longer-term trends. This is at the end of July. This does not teach you gaps but it teaches you how to read long-term pattern trends and charts if you're an options trader or you do overnights. This is a good class to take for that. It's July 28th and 29th from 12 to 4. This class is $9.99. It is during the week, okay, if you are interested in this course as well. And if you want to sign up for both, I'm giving a discount. You can sign up for the Trends class and the Golden Gap course. And actually, I don't have June in here. It's actually July. It's $39.99 for both classes, okay? And they're in July. Sorry about that. 
And I also am teaching for the very first time a bullish class next week, July 14th and 15th from 12 to 6, which is Tuesday and Wednesday. The bullish gaps is not the same as the bearish gaps. Okay, some things are the same, some things are different. Again, like everything else, it's about honing it down to the very, very specifics of what you're doing. So there are some things that are different about going long and bullish gaps than bearish gaps. So if you're interested more in going long or doing bullish gaps, you can do this class. It's during the week, though, 12 to 6, Tuesday and Wednesday, which is next week. And if you want to do both the bullish class and the bearish class, you actually get a huge discount. You can do both classes for 52, 48, 50. It's basically 25% off. You save 17, 50. If you want to do them all, okay? And you'll know how to go long and short. You know how to do the up gaps, the down gaps, and you can do both classes this month, okay? So for a lot of people, summer trading, they call it the summer doldrums. I don't because it's earnings season, which starts Wednesday. It runs all through until Labor Day. So I will trade every day and have active trading daily in the market doing my strategy when many people will not have momentum in stocks because they'll be looking for entries after 10 o'clock, 10.30 and in the afternoon when there is a summer doldrums, but not in gaps, not in the strategy I trade, not into the open between 9.30 and 10 when the institutions are taking positions on and off in their stocks because the institutions are there and people are traders are working and hedge funds are open in the summer. Okay, so they are actively in and out of positions, but they're making the moves into the morning period. So you got to know how to trade that. You have to know how to trade that time frame in order to make money, and specifically in the summer. And if you can, summer can be a great, great trading time. I remember one of the best months I ever had <coughs> after I figured everything out was in the month of August. In the month of August, I had one of the biggest months I ever had for the risk that I was taking at that time. Does anyone have any questions about anything right now that I can answer? We're almost out of time. If you are interested in the trial to the live trading room, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I do give one week free trials. You do have to sign up for the class and take the class in order to join the live training room to be in the room full time. The class is this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and the bullish class is next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. And feel free to email me with any other questions. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks Online Trader Central. Have a good night.